Anglers Extra. Welcome back to the Anglers Extra pregame show. Time now for the visiting catch of the day. I'm Keith Zubro, joined by Matt Troop. Matt, how you doing? I'm doing great. Enjoying this beautiful day at a, at a very nice ballpark. I'm excited to get started. What's well, your second season on the Cape? How does season two compare to season one? Uh, a lot longer. Uh, season one was only two weeks long. Unfortunately, I got injured and had to get out early uh, before playoffs, which didn't feel too good. To, I felt like I kind of let the team down. But, you know, when the trainers and the coaches want you home, you got to get home. We've certainly helped the team out this season. You came in to pitch the final two innings against Harwich in game two. What was that moment like for you? Oh, it, was re- it, was, it was really nice that uh, coach got me out for the second inning. I got in a little bit of trouble my first inning. Normally I only do the three out save, but I went six, so six outs. I uh, struggled a little bit. He got me. He, he, he said, hey, clear your mind. It's a new inning. And that's how I approached the second inning and was able to get out of that one and, and uh, help the birds win. Now, how does that six-out save compare to a three-out save in terms of your mindset? Um, you know, I, I try to take the mindset the same way, but, you know, it, it really is a little bit different. Uh, you don't really – you don't anticipate going six outs. You know, you anticipate just going the ninth. So uh, I really didn't approach the game in the bullpen the way I normally do. So I wasn't quite ready. Uh, that, that is completely my fault, and, and I'll, I'll change and make sure I'm better in the future. So is that something we could expect to see as these playoffs continue? Uh, most definitely, yeah. Uh, Kelly just spoke with Kelly, and he said uh, there's a great chance of that happening if the game calls for it. So I'll be ready for that situation. We'll keep an eye on it as things continue to unfold. You had a great season out here on the Cape, pitching very well against Chatham. Now you guys are 4-2 and two against the Anglers this summer, including winning the final two games of the season against them. How does that help you going into the playoffs and going against them here? Uh, we're definitely confident, but at the same time, I mean, every single team out here, all 10, um, are have very talented players and on any given day can can bring home a W and uh, I, you know I know a lot of kids on the Chatham team and I know they're all you're all great kids and great players so we're not taking anything lightly and you know I, I believe we are the underdogs I kind of like that so we'll come out here and, and, and do what we do a little chip on the shoulder perhaps right exactly so what's it like playing in front of the crowds out here first at Eldridge Park and then here at Veterans Field in terms of the playoff atmosphere um, absolutely love Eldridge Park. I mean, having our home fans, unbelievable fans in Orleans, and the the, the times we have played here, great fans. You know, it's a little bit of a rivalry uh, setting, so you, you do hear them chirping a little bit, and you know that kind of fires me up, and you know makes the game a lot of fun to play. So you guys can feel it as players, despite the cast of characters changing from year to year, that there is a rivalry between these two towns. Most definitely, yeah. I, I felt that a lot last year, and uh, it, it carried over into this year. Um, you know, it's a whole it's a whole lot of fun knowing that all these fans are are kind of against you. So, so Kelly Nicholson, the manager of the Firebirds, talks about the rivalry a lot. What did he tell you guys before this series? Uh, you, you know what? He didn't honestly. He didn't tell us uh, much about it. He just take this series just like Harwich and just like any any game we we took on entire year. So, you know, he didn't tell us anything different than just come out here and uh, finish and and hopefully take the series. Now, finishing is a big theme with him. You talked about Tom Coughlin's finishing speech. What did that mean to you guys when you saw it? Uh, it was a great, great inspirational video he showed us at the, the very first meeting of the year. Um, unfortunately, I don't think everybody on the team got to see it because we have a few guys go in and out. But uh, unbelie- unbelievable story that uh, they showed us in, in Coughlin and what he showed his team. Um, it's a big, I mean, it's big for us. We, we want to finish and we want to come home with, uh, with a ring. Well, the ultimate finisher who closed out a College World Series already. We'll see if you can get the job done tonight. If called upon, Matt, thanks so much. All right. Thank you very much.